My learners and I recognized a problem at our school and we decided that we had the power and the resources and the knowledge to solve the problem. In our cafeteria, we were wasting utensils because as the learners go through the line, they get a packet that is, has a napkin, a fork, a spoon, and a straw. And typically, if they need anything at all from the packet, it's usually only one item. So the rest of those items on a daily basis are getting thrown in the trash. Some of that trash, it escapes into our natural environment, doesn't it? It falls into rivers, which lead to oceans. Fish and other animals try to eat this plastic and what happens? They do. They do. It hurts them. So we backtracked a little bit and the other first grade teachers and I planned a field trip to go to take the learners to a landfill so they could see why waste is a problem. In the landfill they just get buried and in the recycling center they crush it down and they make they reuse it. Our learners were amazed and also deeply concerned about how much trash we throw away as a human population. And they did not like that we were ruining our planet. I think that younger children in particular have just a very deep connection with nature. Our learners determined that the fix would be two things. One thing, to start recycling more items in the cafeteria. And the other thing would, was to get rid of our previous utensil packets and instead use utensil dispensers. Therefore, they kind of coined the phrase, you only get what you need. It was really fun and cool that we can teach other kids that are older than us about what we're doing in first grade. It doesn't matter if you are six years old or 50 years old, you can make a big impact on this world. And our learners from start to finish, they did the research, they did the work, they raised the money, and you know now we have these dispensers in our cafeteria that will last for years to come. I mean, every little thing makes a difference and I just feel so proud of the fact that these kiddos are going to care more about the earth than our population and other populations in the past have.